Hi guys from Paxa Rubiana, Günther here, of course on my Solidarity Tour here 2022 with Europe and Ukraine, with all the friends from Southeastern Europe in whose name, from Bosnia, from Kosovo, from Albania, from Macedonia, from Montenegro, they are all with you and they really want to support you. They know how difficult it is when you are under attack from a big uh, neighbor, a brutal bully. They were all under attack of Serbia and today still Serbia is often threatening them and they know how it is and they want to express their solidarity and I in their name have come here together also for Austria because not all Austrians are sitting on Russian boards and are supporting Putin and have no morals because some Austrians are good yeah, and they want to support and they call now in this video for solidarity and also I would like to express my solidarity with the friends and the friends from Crimea here Crimea, free Crimea it will be never Russia. You can occupy it. You're military powerful enough. You suppressed us in 2014. You can annex it, yeah, integrate it. But it will always be free Crimea. <laughs> and one day Crimea will be free again. <laughs> be sure, like Saxonia, like East Berlin. 40 years you tortured the people, you suppressed them, you sold them their freedom, their property, their rights, their time and their lifetime. That is what the Soviet Union can do. That's the Bolshevik terror organization's legacy. Yeah? And also you can do that for Crimea for some years. Yeah? I'm sure 20 years until Putin is dead. Yeah? I don't wish him anything good. Yeah? But of course he will live, he's healthy, he's protected. Corona won't kill him. And so things are going on and you can continue. You have nuclear weapons, you have the brutality and the will to suppress people. But one day <laughs> there will be a free democratic federal Russia and the people of Crimea will have the choice yeah, between living in NATO, EU, Euro, Ukraine <laughs> and living on the periphery of the Russian Empire in decline or basically in uh, default, yeah, <laughs> which I guess will happen. The legacy of Putin will be terrible. And then there will be freedom for the people of Crimea. And if they want to join back, yeah, they will have the right to vote. And then I think Crimea will be free again. <laughs> and I call now, because I've seen many of these freedom struggles in Europe and they all were successful ultimately. Yeah. And because Serbia didn't win, Milosevic didn't win. And so Putin will not win. And maybe he will even end up for all his crimes in uh, Den Haag, uh, like Milosevic. Yeah. He has deserved it. He killed all these people from MH17 and all the people here in the war. This is all on his account. Yeah? And all this uh, Litvinenko and all the Politovkayas and all the Russian Nemtsov. Uh, you know, his opposition leader to ganging down in the streets of Moscow. This is the legacy of Putin. Yeah? With polonium, with guns, with weapons. And of course, never forget how he came to power by bombarding uh, Chechnya. Okay, in the meantime he has rebuilt it yeah, and he created some kind of bizarre dictatorship there. But let's never forget how he came to power with the apartment bombing and this KGB trap and killing his own Russian citizens to have a casus bello for the war in Chechnya, the second one, because they wanted to take that uh, territory back. Then he was the uh, war hero and then he became the president. That's the legacy and everybody who talks about it from Russia he killed, yeah? Like Litvinenko, that was the killing about, yeah? But <laughs> Crimea will be free! <laughs> you can kill Nemtsov, but you cannot kill the freedom. And the freedom will win, yeah? And freedom in general works, <laughs> if I can quote my hero, George Bush the father, Ronald Reagan <laughs> and George W. Of course that works and NATO will be enlarged, yeah? And if you attack, you will see Ukraine's NATO membership will even happen much faster. And I want to close now because I met once uh, when I had the solidarity visit of uh, the Kosovo Albanian leader I'm friend with and I'm honored by that, Alush Kashi, here in Kiev. It was very good in 2017 and we met Mr. Cemilev, the historic leader and parliamentarian of Ukraine and leader of the Crimean Tatars who was deported by Russia to go to uh, in Kazakhstan, I think he was, and then he came, he was allowed to come back after the end of the Soviet Union, and then he had to flee again after the annexation in 2014. 
which put in debt in spite uh, international, as spite uh, for the democratic Western integration, Western turn of Ukraine on the Euromaidan. And that was a terrible act. And we will never <laughs> recognize this crime. <laughs> And I hope that Mr. Jamila will get the Nobel Peace Prize because Martin Selmayr is famously always on track record saying we can do nothing, <laughs> but we can. We can integrate Ukraine in the EU. <laughs> we can allow the euro as currency. <laughs> we can integrate Ukraine in the Regional Cooperation Council and in SEFTA. And we cannot be paralyzed. And we can give Mr. Jamila the Nobel Peace Prize. Yeah? And all other candidates are called to resign. He's now nominated by the Polish Parliament President and give him the prize. And this is something in the eye of Mr. Putin. Yeah? And uh, also Mr. Handke, by the way, give her back your Nobel Peace Prize. <laughs> Just to make that case. Yeah? And I will now relentlessly drive this campaign for Austrian complicity with the Russians in Austrian media and in Ukraine media and everywhere where I can get media space. I will destroy the myths of Austrian neutrality. I will call for NATO enlargement. I will call for the end of the Russian uh, pivot of Austria. For all these people who sit in the Russian kind of honey traps in uh, Moscow, in uh, Rosneft, Look Oil and all the other boards where you stuff your old pockets with a lot of Russian rubles yeah, and sell out Ukraine and betray Alois Mok. <laughs> Because this is what you do, Mr. Schüssel. You betray Alois Mock's legacy. He was a cold warrior. He saved Austria and steered it into the West and brought it into the EU. And he would have brought it into NATO as well. And you know very well because you know him much better than me. And Mrs. H. Stadler, don't go anymore to Alois Mock's grave. Uh, by and you keep on to protect. Because H. Stadler is not on the Russian board. Yeah? She is clean. Yeah? She is good. And she doesn't know all these things. But that's why I tell it. <laughs> because I know exactly what Schüssel said, when, where and how and little. Because I worked for them. Eh? I know that exactly. And I read the rest. Yeah? And so I call, let's get out of this Russian complicity situation. Alice Mock would turn in his grave <laughs> when he would know that uh, Schüssel is now happily sitting in look all board. Yeah? while the Russian tanks seemingly every moment can attack. Yeah? I'm not sure they will really attack. I think he just wants to annex Donbass and uh, in, uh, Belarus and have the second big Heimins Reich Aktion in the style of his big... No, oh, well, let's not compare him with the big bad guy. <laughs> Anyhow, but he is, for today's relation, the big bad guy. And he definitely is. Yeah. Good. I want to call for peace, for <laughs> Crimea freedom, <laughs> for Mr. Chimalev to be the Nobel Peace Laureate now, uh, and also for Ukraine to join the European Union, and best of course NATO, if there is no, just the EU is a compromise offer. <laughs> if Putin wants war, we will put everybody in NATO, uh, and we will defend uh, Ukraine, you be sure. We cannot guarantee the borders, you can take some land more, but... <laughs> We will win. We will in any case win, as we have won the last Cold War against your ideological predecessors, Mr. Andropov and Brezhnev and all the others in the KGB agents who have ruled the poor people of Ukraine and Russia with the brutal fist of the KGB. Mr. Putin, we know exactly who you are. We have no doubt in our heart yeah? and we know the facts. Yeah? And you can uh, confuse some left-wing, right-wing extremists and you can pay the rest. Uh, but the truth will be at least on this video. <laughs> I will tell it to everybody. And I will fight this Russian Austria and I will fight for European Austria. Thanks a lot. More to come from Pax Arubiana from Kiev. Bye.